Hello, good afternoon everyone. Welcome back with me again. Okay, so this time I'm in Jimbaran area and this morning we got like really big rain since I'm passing by here. As this well, I will do motor vlog and I want to show you the situation. Also, I will visit the beach for a while. Have a look maybe. Let's see the situation at the beach. Hopefully still clean after the big rain. No plastics or anything and also i got a few questions about jimbaran area and i will drive you today around in this area guys and we passed by a few hotels and restaurants also behind there there is um a indian restaurant and also italian restaurant and this area uh, there are a few small businesses like shops look at this here and also here next to it, a lot of uh, small, small shops that you can go and shopping maybe. And here on the left side is local warung. And this one, I think it's a very famous place. It's uh, Bullheads. That is kind of like a spot bar or something like that. And also next to it here. By this time, maybe not really busy. Yeah. It's noon time. And here the steak cafe it's open or a steak restaurant but to be honest with you I never tried any steak dishes there but if you stay around here maybe you can try and here is the La Meridian Jimbaran guys it is a nice hotel last time I've been to this hotel and it, it is uh, very good they have nice pool and also they have their villas where they have the private pool, uh, private pool in each room. Maybe you can try. And we are arriving here at Moaya Beach, where the tourists like to have their uh, uh, seafood dinner, sunset seafood dinner by the beach. And here you will see all the cafes that you can go. You can come from this side this is their main parking area and you can go and uh, see what they have basically you can choose the seafood that you like and then they will like cook it for you and you will sit uh, by the beach guys but this time i will not go there or maybe i will just stop here for a quick look to the beach before i continue driving but this time quite a lot of scooters as well yeah in this area let's see if it's uh, the beach is clean or not and this is the beach which is Jimbaran beach by this time it's very quiet but there are a few tourists visiting look at that from here you can see the beach is clean which is good and also the restaurant have opened already because now it's lunch time and people uh, can have lunch as well there instead of dinner or if not you can have some drinks here down here you can see it you can have some coconuts or any other drinks or beer maybe and still you can enjoy the view of the beach guys and look at that from here you can see some resorts there for season and i don't think we can see ayana from here i think it's a sadara uh, resort and here just in front of us there is a kind of like beach club but uh, it's not really popular i think yeah <laughs> or maybe we'll be busy later during sunset time so this is the situation here at Chimbaran beach or moya beach we call it if you like to come at daytime or or uh, sunset is also good but hopefully we can see nice sunset today because it's raining season sometimes you don't see sunset okay so let's continue driving okay let's continue driving and as you can see this uh, time it's not really busy but if you come at late afternoon it will be very busy but I don't know why so many cars coming this is one-way street actually for the cars and here is the four season resident villas have you been here must be very nice hotel or villas And here it's Coconut Groove. It's almost the same concept, I think. 
they have their sunbed there and probably they have their bar but I'm not really sure and starting from here you will see a lot of uh, hotel like here on the left side this is Karma Jimbaran it looks nice from outside but I've never been inside especially uh, to see the room or anything like that and here is the Sundara the uh, lobby is good very big and here on the left side they close this land I don't know what they will uh, do with this probably another villa or a hotel maybe let's see in the future but it's a lesser and lesser um, nature in this area and here on the right side this is the four season one of the five star resort here in Bali it is very big from the gate until the lobby I've been uh, there a few times to pick up my guests and the view from the lobby is very nice I can imagine the view from the room probably is very good as well you can see the view of the beach from uh, the top anyway this area I can say it's a very good area to stay because it's not really far from airport maybe only like 15 to 20 minutes drive from airport you will arrive here and also it's very quiet in this area and this is new one Raffles Bali it's a nice uh, place from outside probably it is a really big hotel but look at this here on the right side it looks not really optimistic yeah I don't know what it is before do you know or have you been here it looks bad but the rest I think all these are the private villas so a lot of options for you to stay and also here if you go to the left to this Jalangan Kanchana you will see a lot of hotel as well like Sintesa hotel and uh, many more so there are so many hotels around in this area that you can stay but of course if you love party this area they don't have any like beach club guys unless you want to go to the rock bar which is very close from here the end of this street which is Ayana resort where uh, the rock bar are location so the rock bar will open from 4 in the afternoon until night as you go there that is Gending Kadis last time someone asked me about Gending Kadis so this is the situations around here nothing much that you can find yeah I mean outside or at the main road because as you can see most of the businesses around here are the accommodation but look at this it was cafe silic I think but looks really bad abandoned I think this place uh, had been closed since COVID-19 until now still remaining closed but here is the Patmase of course they are open nice villa and also here on the left side there are some more uh, villas and this one is the Astari hotel villa and resident you can go there but if we compare this area then other area in south of Bali like uh, Uluwatu for example it's much uh, popular Uluwatu compared to Jimbaran probably because uh, they have a lot of uh, serving spots in the Uluwatu area because so many nice beaches there guys like Padang Padang Beach you know uh, the movie of Julia Robert Eat Pray Love uh, she made a movie there at Padang Padang Beach uh, you can do uh, surfing uh, you can see sunset there a nice beach and also Thomas Beach they have Dreamland they have Bingin Beach and Suluban and many many more but here uh, we have beach like the one that you saw earlier but not I think maybe not really popular for surfing and plus this area it's kind of like a dead end area so not a lot of people driving around in this area unless they are staying here in this uh, hotels but still you can do some shopping yeah. they have a lot of um, local warung they have uh, mini mart or papito 
where you can do um, shopping for a daily needs or drinks or snacks and there are a few restaurants but mostly if you love seafood this area there have uh, a lot of restaurants that offer seafood but here on the right side I don't know the name of this place it looks nice they have a nice garden maybe a place for event or something and here on the left side this is Chimbaran Hub uh, this place is, is good I mean they have a uh, lot of cafe co-working something like that look from here also you can see the cafe it's quite busy as well uh, this is what they have there hope you can see it And here on the left side is the Royal Tulip Jimbaran. It's a very big area and they have their hotel as well. well they have also go-kart here. So if you love go-kart, you can uh, come there. And there is uh, constructions happening. I think they are building drainage uh, system because they don't have it here. Anyway, this is raining season, so I think it's uh, a bit late, but it's better than nothing. <laughs> okay, so in the front of us here is uh, Rimba Resort and Ayana Resort, guys. So this is the end of this street, and also there are some businesses open in this area, like spa, small warung, and here, if you go to the right, you can see beaches, but last time I tried to go to um, I forgot the name of the beach but anyway the beach is closed and only open the other side so what do you think about this area guys would you like to stay around in this area and also if you like to go to mall there is a mall here close by I will show you later when I pass by we are almost arriving at the mall but before that I will show you some restaurant as well so here on the left side they have Bebek Bangil and also this one I don't know what is the restaurant it's kind of new and here is uh, Wahaha if you love um, pork rib you can come here and this one they have a Brasilla what is this Barrel I don't even know how to pronounce it Barrel's Age Beef Steak okay so you can come there as well and here next to it they have um, here they have the mall so they have time zone and then they have um, also another restaurant it's Samasta Move and Pick Mall guys you can spend your time there as well so what do you think about this area would you like to stay around in this area maybe Okay everyone, that's all for today's update from this area in Jimbaran. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to support me by subscribing this channel. See you again in the next video. Thank you very much and bye now.